What is going on guys? So we are back today for another video and today we are in Richardson, Texas and we are at the Serpentarium. And the Serpentarium is one of the largest reptile stores here in Dallas or in the Dallas area. This particular one is in Richardson, which is just a suburban area north of Dallas. Let's get in here and see what they've got. What's going on guys? So this is Chris and I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna do a reptile store tour. As you can see, tank after tank after tank of all kinds of reptiles. And I'm knocking stuff over and breaking it. Not really, but. So we're gonna do a tour of the store. This is not the only aisle, there is another aisle and there is stuff everywhere in here. Anything and everything you need reptile related. So let's walk through here and see what they have. And then we're gonna find one of the employees and see if we can get some stuff out today. So let's take a look. And please bear with me just so you know, I don't own a lot of reptiles. So I'm gonna struggle with some of these and what they are. Let's see if we can see red tail boa. I don't see that guy in there problem with this is that a lot of them are probably going to be hidden, but that's okay. We'll find them. We've got some snake skin in there. Look at that. Don't know where the snake's actually at, but... Oh, he's up in there. You can kind of see him right there past the skin, which is cool. And look at this guy. It's an albino western hog nose. I have to admit, that's actually a really cute snake. I mean, I'm not big into snakes, but it is a cute snake. Look at these get cozied up in here. Look at that. This guy, he's coming out to play. He's like, hey, hey, guys. So in this one, you got a, a pastel stripe, albino genetic stripe, Outer Banks king snake, corn snakes. You know what I call this right here, guys? That's a nope rope. That's right, a nope rope. Problem with some of this stuff is, is they're all gonna kind of be hiding out and blue poison dart frogs oh there's one right there look at that guy dude's cool russian tortoises herman's tortoises see those guys up in there really kind of cool yeah bumblebee dart frogs oh these are awesome the veiled chameleon oh there it is look at how cool that is um do you do you see this dude right here the thing is massive He's like, I'm out. Peace, dude. Reticulated pythons in here. Look at that dude. Come closer and I'll bite you in the face. That's what he's saying. He's looking at me like, hey, shut up, Karen. You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Those are actually the longest python in the world. Are you going to take that out for me? This is Bree with the Serpentarium. We are in Richardson, Texas. You guys have five stores in California? Yes. So this is their first store in Texas. You guys need to come check them out. This is the Tiger Phantom. Uh, it's a female. They can get up to 30 feet long. Wow. So this one's not quite a year old. They're like gorgeous. I, like I said earlier, you know what this is called? This right here is called a nope rope. <laughs> Look at that. And she's talking to it like it's a child. Yeah, that is awesome. They're pretty chill. Particularities aren't always the nicest. Just because they are very, very big, so they have a very good. They're semi arboreal, so they'll climb or they'll be on the ground. This is the male. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, I think we should get all kinds of stuff out. They're awesome. What about this thing? The dinosaur in this tank. I saw it a minute ago. Yeah, he's in the back there. Um, he was out he front and he. He's a pectinata iguana. He's awesome and beautiful, but he doesn't like to be held very much. Yeah, well, I notice how you keep focusing on the snakes. I really like the snakes. The green tree python is really awesome. Oh, look at that. Most arboreal snakes don't have the best attitude. Yeah. They just kind of want to bite at everything. So we leave them alone for the most part. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you for that. They actually have fangs. They're not venomous, but it's a nicer bite. Oh, it's a nicer bite. Awesome. G'day, mate. It's an Australian water dragon and it's running from me. We have a snake neck turtle. A snake neck turtle. Yeah, snake neck Look at that. Yeah, it's right there. Three. Yes. Look at this guy. The snake neck turtle. This little guy can eat crickets. He's having an attitude problem. Obviously. How's their bite? They are carnivores, so oh, okay. not a good bite. Yeah, very much like any other turtle, I'm sure. Yeah. Painful. Those are giant day geckos. They actually cannot be held. Why is that? If they get stressed out, they will just come out of their skin. 
Awesome. So with these guys, you typically have to hold them every single day from the time that they hatch. Yeah. Or they're not going to let you hold them as adults and they'll just come right out of that skin. Awesome. The Geico gecko oh, is, it is really? a giant day gecko. Japanese pond turtle. Calm down, little Tegu. He's a baby, so he wants to run. And what is this one? This is an Argentine black and white tegu. They are actually have green on them when they're first born, and as they get bigger, they lose that green, and it'll all become white. Uh, he's still fairly young, only a few months old. I do really like this pink belly turtle, though. They're really cute. They don't get too crazy big. Blue tongue skink. Yeah. I saw a blue-tailed skink the other day here in Plano, actually. I'd never yeah, seen one before. Liz, these guys can walk on water. Really? Yeah, they're like the Jesus lizard. The Jesus lizards. He's a little crazy, likes to run around, and he does not want to come back. Once he's out, he's like, no, I don't have to go back in there. Yeah. Green basilisk. The Jesus lizard. I love it. The baby. dragon. Get that. These guys, when they get mad, they have like, lots of skin, and they'll extend out. Yeah. Looks, Looks like, like a velociraptor. Yes. The bearded dragons. Everybody loves bearded dragons. I have uh, so many of them. They always look at you like, what are you looking at? Just stop looking at me. He's actually pretty friendly. He likes to be held. Whenever I go to put him back, he doesn't. And it's a black roughneck monitor, you said? Yes. Looks like a little dinosaur. It does look like a dinosaur. Then I'll lick the camera. So. Wow. Okay. How big do they get? Three to four feet, body wise. Those guys are omnivores, so they will eat bugs and uh, salad. They'll even eat pinky mice and kind of bigger mice as they get older. She's trying to musk on me, and I'm not letting her. These are actually a male and female pair, green tree monitors. This is the female. A little smaller than the male. So why the pair on these guys? Very hard to find. So yeah. You usually want to sell them. Yeah, they're really exotic. So the pair we have, we want to go to someone that's going to try and reproduce. I got gotcha. you. So that way the population can grow. Yeah. And where are these guys from originally? New Guinea. New Guinea. No, I definitely These are actually adults. And they could breed if they choose to. At this size. And how old are these guys? Uh, about two. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Was just attacked by the green tree monitor like like literally as you saw their tail is support as well they typically will wrap it around oh, okay kind of like an extra appendage a little another armor leg she just wanted to hang out with you that's it that's it is he gonna attack me too no no <laughs> He, he just wants docile. to climb everywhere. Typically monitors are not this chill. Yeah. Of course, they're monitors. That's a baby veiled chameleon. You guys have a bigger one in the back, yeah? Yes, is it the same big size big. as this one? Or yeah. is not? Okay. They are only about two months old. They're not for sale yet. Probably about two more months we want them to get bigger. Yeah, how many do you have in there? There is 18 in there. Oh, okay. They're so tiny. You see them everywhere. Another, yeah, get another enclosure set up and separate them. How old is this one? About four or five months. And then how big will they get? About eight inches without oh. the tail. Oh, okay. These guys start off all black and they start to kind of how you see uh, develop white spots. Oh, okay. They'll uh, fade into white as they get older. A white tree frog. Oh, these guys are cool. Well, I will tell you, if you have any need for any type of reptile supply, then the Serpentarium in Richardson, Texas is definitely the place to come. They have all kinds of things, everything from their animals to driftwoods to plants. They even do boarding. So if you have an iguana or a monitor or some sort of a reptile that you need boarded while you're out of town, they actually board as well, which is really kind of cool. Backgrounds, 3D backgrounds, terrariums, everything and anything that you could possibly think of. If you have a reptile and you need something and you're in the Dallas area or you are in California, they actually have five locations in California as well. They do all kinds of professional services around reptiles. So definitely, definitely check these guys out. It is definitely worth it. Lamps, feed, reptibator. So if you want to incubate reptile eggs, anything and everything you could possibly need reptile related, this is your place. Right, Bree? Yes. yes. 
I do like the fact that they are a company that does not believe in wild caught reptiles. So everything is actually bred by a respectable, responsible breeder that they vet out during their background check process. So anything and everything that you buy in here has been bred in captivity and is for the sole purpose of the hobbyist and such. Nothing is taken out of the wild. That was an absolute amazing tour right there. They have everything and anything you could possibly need reptile related. So if you live in the Dallas area or anywhere in North Texas or in California, the Serpentarium is actually located. They have one store here in Texas. They have five locations in California. They are actually looking at expanding here in North Texas and opening another store that should be coming soon. Any and all needs that you could possibly have from a reptile perspective, this store is really, really cool. I definitely enjoyed that tour and I really appreciate Bree and Tristan for their help in this tour today. I appreciate it, guys. And now on to editing the video. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video today. The Serpentarium in Richardson, Texas was definitely, definitely a cool place to go check out. Definitely happy that I found that place. So I want to give a special thanks to Bree and Tristan and Drew over at the Serpentarium. Very, very nice people. Great place. Has everything and anything you could possibly want. And if they don't have it, they can special order it. I was talking to Drew on the phone today and he told me that they're actually starting up some educational services and they're doing all kinds of things over there. Great thing. So if you are a reptile owner, keeper, hobbyist, whatever you want to call it, definitely check out the Serpentarium over in Richardson, Texas. I wanted to give you a quick update on the giveaway at 5k. The giveaway at 5k is over and we are picking a winner today. So check for that to come out very, very soon. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tour. If you want to see more things like that, please comment below. If you have any great video ideas, any other things that you guys want to see, definitely let me know in the comments or if you'd like shoot me a dm on instagram but if you have not followed me on instagram or you have not subscribed to my channel please do that now and if you are new to my channel welcome <laughs> I, i'm glad you're along for this journey so we really appreciate the support guys we definitely appreciate all the subscriptions all the views all the support that you guys give and we will see you next time